and welcome back to my enchanted studio in Albuquerque. My name is Juliana Coles and I'm presenting the new online workshop at the Institute for Extreme Journalism called Field Notes, the Extreme Visual Journal. Today I want to talk to you about how to choose a book. Seems easy, you know it's really not. It's the hardest part and maybe the most complex because there's so many reasons to choose or not to choose a book. We're not going to we're going to we're going to look at a lot of different ideas and samples and examples. But we're not going to get caught up in it because eventually the book that we need to work in is going to choose us. So we can try to manipulate it. We can say this book's going to be this, you know, that's our artist self talking or the reporter in the field talking who wants to you know make this thing and be a success unfortunately in the extreme jur journalism process that doesn't work and we have to respond to the book itself because the book has all the information we need to know it's going to teach us a lot about ourselves and the world around us so we have to pay heed to in a sense its advice so when it's saying pick me choose me I'm the one you want I don't care that my pages are too thin I don't care I'm too old I don't care I'm too big you're just gonna have to take it so join me as we look at some various examples and samples today and I hope that you enjoy it as I'm sure you already have tons of ideas let's check it out usually when we think about a sketchbook journal we think of a blank book and um, for our purposes in this workshop, we're going to work the way I started working. And, and I've always kept a, a sketchbook in art school, but it, it was never satisfying to me. And I always incorporated um, writing, collage, painting, until they were pretty full and complete images. So um, that's kind of how I'm going to want you guys to work. But we'll... I'm still going to share some ideas for sketchbooks with you and some examples from my own collection to, to show maybe the difference between a sketchbook, which, which is just simply notes, and the Extreme Visual Journal, which um, is, a, is a lot more developed than that. We're going to try to find some, some medium, ground, medium ground, middle ground for us as we work. So this one I'm going to show you first is um, was made for me by my friend Tracy Bunkers and she took a book um, gutted it and then put in various pages of different papers which would be nice for us in this workshop we've got different textures you know space to work on um, we'll do some we'll do some experimenting in our book so don't worry about altering a book we'll figure out how to prep our pages and I'll talk a little bit more about that and what I've I've learned from my experience but this is a cool book and this would be really fun for our field notes journal because um, you know it has different pages some blank pages great for sketches great for collage and painting um, great for watercolor so this would be a great um, experimental book where we're brainstorming and that's really what we're doing we just field notes is taking notes how do we do that done with that one. This sketchbook was my sister's um, and I'm just keeping it for her. Um, this was her uh, visual journal. What's nice about this is this craft cover. I like this color paper, sturdy cover, and spiral binding. A lot of people like spiral binding because it can open and lay flat. And in this particular journal, the papers the paper is pretty nice. It's not too thick, but it has a nice sort of tooth to it. So um, you might get a little texture when you're drawing. Um, so this is nice. The spiral and everything. It's a pretty big book. It's got a lot of pages. That's nice. This one I started to use. This is an old small ledger album. And somebody has their notes in it. Of course now you can't see it. And so I started, I thought this would be a great notebook to keep in my purse. And so it has lined paper so I can do my writing. Um, and then I just 
was doing little sketches. I think that's as far as I got. But I like that it had these tabs on the side for a phone book and it's got this other writing in here. I can incorporate this into to my own practice and make drawings or sketches or doodles or add collage around it. This is a uh, sketchbook, not a sketchbook, notebook uh, that I had to keep in art school for a sculpture class. And it just folds over the top. You know, it was not meant to be anything substantial, just a notebook. And you can think about that too. You know, do you want a hard cover? Do you want a harder cover? A paper cover? You know, does it need to be flexible? Um, you know, and so this one, the paper turns over the top. This is what happens, and I don't know if you can see this, um, what happens with rubber cement. Don't use it. So it, this was graph paper, and I really liked working on that, and that might be cool to work on graph paper for the Field Notes journal. It might be cool adding sections and, and ledgers and making it look very official as a notebook. And as we're choosing our book, as always, we consider size. As we move on in this workshop, we're going to be creating our journal mobile unit. And so the book, the materials, the case, if we have a case, um, that's all going to need to be considered. So I would say when you're choosing your book, choose a few different ones. Um, we'll be doing different things with them on location at different types of assignments as reporter in the field. So you may need a smaller one, a larger one. So I would have a couple. And what I say in my workshops is, you know, the book should almost choose you. And you'll find somebody say, yeah, this is cool. And then change your mind and say, no, that's that's not good enough. It's not interesting, not big enough. Paper's too thin. It's not cool. It's not this. And yet you keep coming back to it. So that's that's most likely the book you need to use because it has information for you. And as you work in it, you'll discover how to solve the problems it's presenting you with. And in that, working through the problems in that book, you'll be amazed at how that also affects your regular day-to-day -day life. This, um, oh here, this is a very little book. And I don't know if you can see it. It's just a little phone book. But it could be interesting for, for quick notes and sketches that we could expand upon in a larger journal later, whether it's tracings or cutting things out from here. So there are a lot of different ideas of, of books that you can use and different ways in which you can use them. So field notes, this workshop uh, is about working in the field. And so this is one of the journals or scrapbooks or I don't know what uh, that I kept when, with um, Lance. Some of you guys may have heard me talk about Lance, my ex. And um, we had a Volkswagen bus. And we used to take drive around and take road trips in that. And it was great. It was like a little house. And I could really bring a lot of art materials with me. And this was an old Herbert's calendar. And I loved these covers. They were fabric covered covers. Oh wow, I still have photos I haven't used. So what did I call this? Road Trip, The Art of Travel. And I've got maps in here to decorate pages. I didn't do a lot of work in here or a lot of prep work in here. I I just glued things in if we were going somewhere. This was one of the photographs that was originally in the book. I just left it. I didn't do much to it. We went to Mexico and I cut out pictures from the internet and places that I wanted to go and then also have diary notes of us going there. It's not that intricate. I think it gets better as it goes along. Photographs, drawings. Here we went to Moab and Lake Powell. 
adding things to it. Here's another photograph that was just already, already here. And I don't know that this is such an interesting or good book, you know, for the public or the viewer. But it was really wonderful to work in as as we went along, and um, it stayed in the bus, and it was it was great fun. And it's a nice reminder now when I look at this um, book that uh, we did have fun and riding around in the bus, and it was cool, different different life. This is a great little uh, journal, and this was made for me by a friend, Rhonda McDaniels, and her website is BarkingCatStudios.com, and she made this little book, and the signatures are just folded in, but it's really nice watercolor paper, and it's got this deckled edge on the side, that's that raggedy edge. And the paper is really substantial, and this is this is a fun little size. I think everyone should have, you know, a smaller book for this workshop, and maybe a little larger, not too large. I mean, it's up to you, but you know, we we gotta take this this book with us. So, you know, an atlas would be crazy, but maybe you're that crazy. I would really respect that. That would be cool. This is a beautiful journal that my mom bought for me and I took this as my writing journal with me to Greece. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's a leather tooled cover with definitely a goddess and a cherub on the cover. And it looks like, I don't know if she's holding a snake or an octopus, but it's very beautiful and I loved it and I love the texture of it and it felt very... Michael Michelangelo-ish, you know, very sort of old world um, journal. And this journal has has sort of a deckled edge, more of a torn patterned edge. And the paper in it is lined, which is perfect for me because I really need lines when I write. And I did write in this in Greece. I have my notes in here. And and even some quick sketches. This was kind of a good journal to have to take with me because the, co the cover is flexible. I can bend this, you know, I can kind of roll it up and, and put it in my purse, it fit in my purse, with a couple of pens, or actually just one pen. I didn't bring markers or anything and I could have worked on this later, which I didn't. And, you know, sketches and for note taking, for field notes, they're not perfect. We're not sitting there for hours trying to catch or capture something. It's just a memory we're collecting. So they can be pretty quick. Don't worry about being great. Like, that's just a column. But, but look how cool it is now as I put my, my writing and my notes and my observations you know, ne next to that. So I, I, I guess I didn't write that much on that trip. But, but this was a nice, it's a really nice journal. I like that a lot. Egypt journal with prepped pages. I had another sketchbook that was my mom's from art school that I wanted to share with you guys, but I haven't been able to find it. So when we're trying to choose a book, the main thing, the main thing is going to be size and just, you know, are you drawn to it? Let it pick you. There's, there's not going to be any perfect book like, oh, this kind of paper. And that's why maybe like the book that Tracy made for me, having various textures and different papers inside might be the best thing in terms of field notes being an experiment because then you can decide, love this kind of paper, hate this, this doesn't work, this does work, so that you can fine tune and hone your um, field trips journal um, so that it keeps evolving. It keeps evolving. This is not just something we're going to do this summer. This is something you're going to do for the rest of your life because it's, it's endless. 